back. The Nigerian Customs Service and the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, are not resting on their oars. Uh, they have made more arrests and seizures in connection with smuggling and illicit drug trafficking. While the NDLEA at the Moa State chapter arrested over 100 suspects for illicit drug trafficking in the southwest, the Federal Operations Unit Zone A of the Nigerian Customs Service also made extensive seizures. The Nigerian Customs Service and the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, the NDLEA, have different briefs but the same mandate, enforcing the law in their jurisdiction. The Adamawa State Command of the NDLEA has arrested 1,027 suspects involved in illicit drugs trafficking and seized about 1,763 kilograms of narcotics and psychotropic substances between January and August 2017. We have put in place network of measures to ensure that drug dealers who are bent on coming to Adamawa State to ensnare youths with illicit substances are caught in our dragnet. The acting commandant of the NDLEA, Adamawa State, also appealed to heavy-duty truck drivers, National Association of Road Transport Workers and the affiliates against colluding with drug dealers to move illicit substances. This press briefing is of the Nigeria Customs Service. The Controller Federal Operations Unit Zone A, Ikeja Lagos, Controller Mohamed Gadova, disclose here the anti-smuggling operations to include the seizure of 27 vehicles. So we accumulated seizures, the amount we have collected is over 783 million women a short period of time. The seizures were made, the revenue we collected as an intervention cost is over 783 million women a short period of time. The Eid al Kabir holiday is just around the corner and the slaughtering of rams is mandatory in the Muslim rites. However, from Ogun State to Delta State, Katsina and Yobe, there's been a reported low turnout of buyers at ram markets as Muslim faithful prepare for the Salah celebration. The Salah celebration means an expected trip to the market by Muslim faithful to purchase rams, but there appears to be low patronage this year across the states. In the north, a visit to the Kagadama market in Katsina State reveals the reason for a decrease in the number of buyers here. People they are crying about the market. They don't have enough money in this situation where we are. Look at all this market now. They have ram much here, but there's no money to buy it. Then the money for it is too much. To the south-south and ram traders at the Oko livestock market in Asaba, Delta State, say sales are also meager, which they blame on the economy. Before Salah, you can sell, you can sell this one like an 60 or 55, but because of Salah now, this one can reach like an 80 or 80, 85, you understand? Because of no markets, that is when only people they don't come down their markets. Ogu State is our next port of call and barely 24 hours to the Salah celebration, the markets are almost deserted. The price of rams in the Kuto market in Abokuta has gone up. I think because of the Salah, like even the, the rice that we are buying, at least a cup, that's eight cup before, at the rate of uh, 480 naira, it has increased to five something. So I think even meats, everything has changed, I think because of the Salah, that I think maybe after Salah, the price should be able to come down to normal. People are complaining that they not pay their money, so I don't know what is happening. So we too, we just keep our fingers crossed. So we are still expecting that God will, will do it. Meanwhile, in Yobe State, northeast Nigeria, relief trucks are going around the 17 local government areas, dispatching food and relief materials to IDPs and communities devastated by the Boko Haram insurgency. The And with that, we come to the end of the program. Many thanks for watching. I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun.